early fights do go the way of e DM the and they're very comfortable about this idea, then it'll be a huge problem. But there's another opening off a push and Ooh. make it two. Yeah, again, they go for this three-player setup down long B. This is the choke point that people are just pushing the most often now. It just feels like the safest thing to do. Showers can be kind of dangerous without an operator, um, unless you have a really, really brave rifler to run up into it. And yeah, just another bit of success here over at Long B, nice and early. Despite those initial kills, they're still going to try to contest this. Need more DM, and well, they walk right into the Marshall scope. Cover going out. And this is not saving players, so the headshot was crucial there for Machina. And not able to land the follow-up, but Ladede is still here. Lending a helping hand. You can see some softened bodies on the site itself, but a flawless first buy Going to try and contest to the B site yet again. Spike is included in the two players making contact here. Ooh, Spike's now down. Ding dong. If Purple Cobras decide to contest control. Oh, through the TP. Hugstar whipping out the showstopper. They were here. just trying to get away with that spike, and they are absolutely denied. BZT is going to make sure nobody can come help Hugstar, but he needs not help as he falls back into the safety of Hookah. It's... Ooh, oh. Operator versus Operator. Ouch time. Population you, bro. Five versus two. A flying start for the Purple Cobras. Coiled and striking early. Looking for that info now. Just looking to seal the deal on what is another excellent They're round. Finding. Machina will get caught in transition there, trying to push up closer to the windowsill. Crazy Deer trades left. it, but at 24 HP, 30 seconds, and four enemies ahead. I wouldn't be a helping hand to the solo Killjoy over on B. She can relax and allow the turret to just do its job. 30 seconds 30 left. 30 seconds and, left. Well, they're going to leave one player from the A site, or at least they're floating the idea. Yeah. I mean, here's a problem. Here's the issue, of course. We've got, you know, alt if, if things really go badly, but ultimately Ooh. they can let the spike go down. Okay, there's a spot. He actually, you know, creates a timing for himself. The shower walkout is in. 10 seconds Shower left. walkout gets the spike plant even. Spike planted. Day is just going to try and hone in on this one. Hits him with the parent. Oh, nope. Omen smoke. TP's out. Close shot. One bullet left. And he misses it. Whoa. Now they've got a chance on this. Even with 16 health right, left you. over. I mean, fancy he's trying to find them, but he drops. Oh, it's this big flank from Honeybee. They don't seem to know. And the 2K spray for Purple Cobra's sixth round straight. Ah, damn. Let's go, Honeybee. What a spray transfer. As soon as he sees that rolling thunder, he knows he pretty much has it locked. Sees a second. No way! Hunter's Fury is going to force one into the open, but Fancy, Wait. he still shuts down Hassa. How? I don't know. Crazy Deer, he could be in the middle of it all, though. Oh, just cancels out the Blade Storm. That one has to sting. And Fancy, no very capable of clawing this back. It's more than one player coming out of showers. Three of them, in fact. Barcode cuts it into the two versus two. Crazy Deer turns his attention back. They are still playing on the site itself. Spike down just outside of lamps. And Barcode, he dares you to peek. Yeah, he has the health advantage, and he absolutely makes the most of it. Smoke in the face of Lede Day. 30 seconds left. Interesting. Ooh, from the shadows, oh. he's going to get out into the lamps itself. But this is going to get called out. Spike plant. Oh, he cancels. Okay. And generally consistent in his success. You should run. Let it up onto the top box. We've got the attackers locked down coming in from outside Hookah. Now, this is going to push the defenders into the depths of the site and elbow. It's not going to force them all the way back onto their spawn. So, this is actually pretty comfortable for Machina. Ooh, even Vladidi trying to keep on to the ground that he held. Zero Very players well detained, but Honeybee remains. Oh. Despite his two teammates slain, he is then the third to go down. Okay, well, we're off into the mid round, and this is where it's been pretty 50 50. I kind of like both, play both, both teams' so odds, dark. excuse me. Um, Ray Silva low on either team. A fake spike plant, which is interesting. Hugstar, this will put him on full alert. 30 seconds Got left. Got the cross out. They're not pushing for information. They just are going to eventually stick this. Looks like the time is now. Spike planted. 
fancy. Low health here. Got an info dart out. It'll just clear out the... Okay, this is going to be hard cleared for sure. Yeah, that's the ult. It goes down. Oh, my God. Not expecting the walkout. Hugster will grab both. Easy. That's nuts. They did not expect a full perimeter incognito wrap from Hugstar. Both of the ultimates for the attackers thrown out at the very same time. And check out Crazy Deer behind enemy lines. But they should know about this. Can they cancel him? Yes. Easily dropped by Hugstar. 30 seconds left. Although a little success here for Need More DM as they peel one player off of the site itself. Machine has now been spotted over towards the showers. This is going to make any possibility of a plant that more unlikely. Showstopper whipped out. Jumping Not back. in the retake, though. That spike is still yet to be planted. Ten and it is left. on site, but they don't feel comfortable. Nine bullets. He's going to go over to the heaven side. A missed One updraft. This is awkward. Good day, day. Can't stop the spike plant, but there's no time for it to happen. So this last round fizzles out. Decision making. Yeah. You know, uh, many layers to a strategy, but everybody remains on the same page. Dash uh -oh. through, barcode, inside the smoke. Oh, the paint shell is on the money. And the shorty is on point. BZT from inside of the site knows where the last man's at. Poor Hugstar has seven health and soon he'll be dead. <laughs> Easy fourth round added to the board here for NDMD. Long as they dodge him, He's gonna have a tough time stopping anything. The same Nano Swarm floods him out into the open and they are so ready for exactly that. The trajectory on that grenade has gotten two kills, crucially, in back-to-back -back rounds that could very well arguably secure an 11th and 12th. Ignore the recon, nerd. <laughs> Nobody saw that. Luckily for Fancy, it shouldn't come back to bite him. Hassah is able to catch one through the wall. Oh, but the showstopper gets stopped in its tracks. Last man up, a 12th round, likely added to the board. He goes for the blind, it's perfect. And now it's just playing against the clock that's really the issue. Machina sitting inside of the site just buying time and he knows he can't even leave. Oh, it's a robbery of a 12th. I mean, the reaction was so fast, he got like a straight, like full spam off. Excellent, Mark, rifle play. Now, Machina trying to lay down the lead. Instead, he ends up dead, but Crazy Deer is traded. Early engagement at the A site leaves the attackers split 2-2. Two -two. Look, they're just anticipating the showers push. It's not even coming, but they've got other plans to sit and wait. Spam will come through versus Hookah. They've got a buddy system going on in here. Let's see what uh, Hassan can do. Tigany dies in that spot. Ooh, that could have hurt. Fancy's gonna owl drone in. Oh, Saw spotted. two players. Now that's gonna tell them max two on A site. Cover going out. They could just play the numbers game on A, four versus two. It's a matter of trading. And oh, BZT, he's off. gonna get scanned. Yeah, with 25 health and a marshal, not ideal. He is dead to rights. They're gonna wrap around into the lamps. Barcode never sees it coming. Ladies and gentlemen, a 13-4 looking so likely. There is no ultimate for either of these players to retake with. And the defense still sitting on a lockdown. If they throw that ultimate into this run. equation, just like that, it's gonna buy crucial time. It forces the feet forward for the retake attempt. And it... it are already here. Jet actually doubling up on short. This is a big read. Dangerous play, though. Machina's gonna have to let a couple players cross. Ladidi gonna jump down into his death. BZT strikes him from the sky. And that spike's gonna get planted. Now the problem here for Need More DM is health advantage to the way of the Cobras by far. And weapon advantage as well, don't forget it. Yeah, get rid of low. Getting rid of the wall on short is a big piece of the puzzle here. Three players tucked up on site. BZT and the Jenny will have to hit the shot of his life to get out of this one. Jet dash across behind box. Oh, BZT gets himself another, but then he falls. Now both the remaining players oh. for the Cobras are on low health. In fact, one of the men back Black down here underneath is still full Black HP. Oh, it's down to the wire, Aww. but he hits it. Back to back headshots and the defuse comes through. Wow, it's close. Man, that's a really scary smoke, honestly. Because this is a thing. When you wish you were Breach. 
And that's going to draw oh, them in on the reload, geez. but it's not just the Odin. So good. Operator in position. You got to love that setup, right? It looks like that's their one tactic for the round. They double up on the aggression and expect you to play into it. Yeah. Try to push in in the 40-minute uh, reload. Only to be met by the one-shot stopper in that operator. Now the peek out from the corner, almost catching Machina back. That would have been their chance to equalize 4v4. But four players knocking on the door of this B site, just walking in. Right here. Now the Odin has a chance, but he's splitting it down the middle. No damage off of that. Machina, though, we saw what he can do, and he does it again. Fancy, going to be relegated to the depths of the boathouse, and, well, that operator can't really help him, so Hassa is able to come down those stairs and clear him from left. the position. Spike planted. Spike planted. That was so nice from Hazak coming around the other side. Like, there was just no anticipation from Arsova sitting in Boathouse. And okay, I mean, it's not a great situation, but it's a little bit better with the spike plant in mind. Things get weird sometimes on the retakes. Ooh, careful now. Hassan's able to get another headshot. We got the Blade Storm whipped out. The turret serves as a great distraction. Barcode! Three headshots off short shelf, and the attackers collected and they move over. Left. Hunter's Fury into the site. Hugstar able to add a headshot to the kill feed, but he's got his nades out when the peak comes in. Hunter's Fury the other direction meant to keep them at bay. But, oh, through the box, BZT is not playing games. And then he closes the gap left. into the site itself. Eight One seconds, he gets remain. rushed, spiked down, and barcode, he needs the kills. There's no time to plant, and they I just avoid spike. him like the plague. You take Looks like they want to get aggressive off of the paranoia. Hugstar with the showstopper. I know it's actually exactly burnt out because Honeybee nails the Sheriff headshot, goes for the Neural Theft for the left. quick information. Two defenders in position to try and hold this back. But a quick kill from Tiggity could bode well. Classic burst shots not meant to be, as BZT clears sight. And what remains of Purple Five Cobras points. comes quickly in through Market, or at least it's meant to. Barcode shaves two players off of the back, and this Frenzy versus Vandal not going to work. Three frags for Barcode. Watching their fallback and also anything coming towards it. Okay, the push wants to come in. There's still three people on the site, though. Oh, that's one gone. Yep. BZT, the one and done. Machina, nice quick adjustment on the scope. Vladede in position, looking for more than just the first. And he does have a teammate nearby, but Hugstar, left. lucky to be alive, Spike is just going to take to the corner here. If his teammates can cause a distraction, this can happen. Hugstar, blind siding one. Nice stun from Tigany. Now the reload's in. He's isolating the fights, but Machina makes the difference. Just going to commit. Fancy. Residing in the boathouse. Yeah, held nice into position done. by BZT, who just allowed for his teammates to flood forward. If he didn't get that operator kill, somebody would have pushed in on it. And, well, that scopes back up in time yet again. Four versus two, turned 4v1. Machina wants an answer. Oh, the <laughs> jumping. Where he was, it's actually on the other side of the wall in spawn from where mm -hmm. Raze was. I love this you play from run. Honeybee. He just like refuses to concede this B site. He is oh timing oh. and accuracy. Thirty seconds left. There's still a player in the back of the site though. Honeybee locked in on Cipher. The attacker's killjoy pops off on that A site. Here comes the rolling thunder deep into the spawn, and that actually draws Honeybee out of his position. He was locked into it the entire time. Decides to finally make his move, and it's not enough. Showstopper blocked by the wall. Everything unraveling for the Cobras. A 2v4 moment. Hugstar going to try to clear his spawn and does so. We're back into the even 2v2, but the ultimates are on the other side. Favoring need more DM. They're able to fall one back onto long. A showstopper and a hunter's fury. How are you ever going to defuse this spike? They need quick kills. 
Rocket launcher whipped out. It's a dodge! Oh, but here comes the Hunter's Fury. He's buying time on the second shot. Defuse starts to come through. Barcode's gonna come sprinting in. A predicted peak, but he misses what was the crucial kill. An eight spread back out. Oh, BZT got another one through the cage. This is gonna fall onto Barcode. Ooh, takes damage through the smoke. We've got Tiggity inside of the corner, trying to land the burst shots. He will. It is all on Fancy. Left. A one versus five. He gets the first kill. Six seconds left. They're going to rush him in. How have Need More DM managed to con this 15th round? It's their turn now with the lesser weapons to try and steal one. Focusing on the turret. As Hassa reminds them, he is still here. He gets hit by the paranoia, Crazy Deer, in from the corner. Good for the triple kill. Oh, damn. And the site is held as he gets the fourth, a flawless round from Need More DM. Easy as So they can justify this stack, and Machina caught off the back of Hassa, giving chase on Catwalk. Boom bot denied. BZT needs the reload, and well, Cobras, they need the plant. They're gonna go ahead and get that spike into play. Tigany's flank all the way from B, Worthless. finding the timing that they needed. There is an Odin in position for this retake oh, attempt. Trades coming out for NMDM. Oh, they don't look comfortable. Oh, nothing really being offered over. In fact, this round, it's the solo Killjoy hold on A after that opening kill. Crazy Deer. Oh! I know exactly oh, but from beyond the grave. Well, I guess that's like the, why they like going A. They have tried it three rounds now. It's been a heroic play to stop them, but here, with the use of an alt and an extra kill, they lock it down. No alts to use on the retake. They're going up against the Hunter's Fury, and they have a player disadvantage. Good luck. Yeah, but the momentum. Maybe that'll be enough, like a boulder. They are looking to roll into this site. The Odin just trying to clear through the floorboards. That actually gets Vladidi to come out from his cubby. And a third kill for BZT on this round. He is shooting for the ace. But Tigany. Oh, he get pushed here. Fancy. Gun will come out. Oh. Putting away the ults. Oh! Right around the side of the box. He sends a message. But right back into the tree. Crazy Deer going to clear it. Calls out Hugstar. Machino will find a player in their own spawn. And now Hussa looking to lock down on the A site, looking to keep them away from this. There is a solo B hold. And there it is from the shadows. They're going to travel Omen into the B site. Letting him go, though. Yeah, his back is turned, however, to the yeah, Marco's just Sova in position. Oh, my God. He's just going to wait. He can actually wait until the spike goes down. Dude, they didn't clear it. Oh, my goodness gracious. Seconds left. I mean, this must be called. What right? is happening? The possibility of a player being back here no, no, has no, to be on called. their minds. No, because Omen. Oh, okay, now. Oh. Revealing area. But he gets the first one. Okay, yeah. Marco, now he's got him scanned. He's going to try to trace him through the walls, but Fancy goes for the wide swing. Hassel's going to find timing. Ten seconds left. He's trying to keep the pressure high here in the 1v3, having killed the first. A second frag taken down. And now the turret's going to lend him a helping hand. He needs the reload. Recon dart goes out. That's going to buy a little bit of time. But the turret, I mean, if he stands out into the open, that could serve as such a great distraction. Hassa has gotten so close. Now the turret, it reveals him, but oh, it's labored. He still lands the shot to take it. A clutch in the 1v3 from Hassa. And down to the 35 second mark. Hug start. Goes for the peak, not even. Actually just trying to hang on to the corner. He gets sprayed out of it from Crazy left. Deer. And now, with the smokes pluming oh, on the site, they are hoping to get this spike in. Fancy, he's gonna play on it. Oh, nice oh. flick over from Barcode. Did they able to stop them with two? Just the Spectre, but he can't teleport out of position fast enough. The spike will be planted. Spike planted. Almost a sick play there from Ladede. That was really cool. Good trades as well. Machina trying to keep eyes in from above. Looking to buy time for his teammate to flank. Honeybee, he could get the better of this duel. And just like that, the 2v2 could come through. There's still, however, room for error. Just like that. It's so difficult to come out from heaven, especially on your own. And now Honeybee looking for something to shoot at. Will be peaked from the player on site, only to fall victim to Tiggity.
It is. Need more DM. Just get like an, an action movie over on that A site. Okay, well, I, again, I respect the fact they try to get aggressive. Ooh! Oh, He's he shooting. Dops him. No show started. Yo! A wall bank kill into Huzzah, and he's finally gonna miss one. So there's a chance here for an MDM to claw it back with the spike planted and two ultimates still on their backs, but one of which gets dropped. It's a clean retake from the Cobras as Need More DM absolutely cranking the tempo in these last two rounds. He stopped the showstopper every step of the way. BZT making his way up C. Ladeda is in a really strong spot, though, left. and he'll spot ahead. Oh, my God, did he not see that? Wait a second. Does it matter? Oh, my God. He's trying to use utility. What? He doesn't shoot. Blind they haven't committed. Honeybee's doing everything. They don't even need him. He'll play out there next round. Whatever. It was all part of the plan. He will reassure Honeybee, who absolutely delivered a buzzing 10 3 kill left. on that back of the site. And, of course, you're never going to expect him up there because all your teammates walk... BZT with the swift headshot. Going to keep four players back closer towards the defender's spawn. Two ultimates available for Need More DM again here in the hold. But Machina, he's able to land that first operator shot. And with three players, they're feeling bolstered. Here comes the showstopper. That's an easy pickup for BZT. Two players still ahead, but the blade storm. Oh, it finally answers all four kills so far from BZT. And Machino would need just as many on his own. They are deep down long, and that is too much to ask for. Another operator shot lands for Machina. Tigany's inside of this. Hugstar could land the nade on his feet, but it misses the mark slightly. And we've got that showstopper out. Left. Oh, it's perfect. Perfect on Sliver point. peak. I got the spike. They have to go for it again. Slides it right between the goalposts. Two seconds spike left. Plant. Doesn't fluster the player off the spike plant. And they are able to push one side, but they get swarmed on by the purple cobras. They were inside their nest. And that mating ball. Be the same one that they place for themselves for the exact same play. Right. <laughs> Meta. Crazy deer. Good paranoia. Should blind the two players ahead of him. Yep. Swinging wide. And now it's Machina. In with an answer. Kills a player from the window. Oh my god. Oh my god, what the hell? Okay. How is this man still Let's standing? Erase that from the VOD. BZT, I swear to God, it's oh, a tackle no. Are you kidding me? It's one on one now with the classic 47 HP, and he turns wow. for the next kill. Crazy deer, of course. Well, still avoid him completely. This A site gamble is just not going to net them anything. Spike planted. Misjudge the situation. Antigone, who could have at least taken down a few players to prime them for a retake, I feel like really gave them a chance when he missed those shots. So flash deep behind Platt. He could swing wide on both these players. Not even the flash, a tremor, a perfect stun. And he doesn't look away, he calls them both out. BZT lends the helping hand, four health, three enemies. Okay. Higgini absolutely picking up the pieces that he almost let crumble around. Who is trying to off it? That is a huge opening. I mean, this is a position where you need to get Spike in and get the hell out of the site. Now, Hazad does have a lockdown for this retake, and he just threw it down. Let's see what the offense does in their post plant. They're going to fall a couple of players back. I think Omen's going to travel from the shadows. Yeah, he just went into the defender's spawn. And you know what? He's not alone back there. So they've completely forfeited the site. Tigany is on top of the defuse. Two players locked into it, but once he gets paranoia, he came off of it. Now Vladede on site, caught, and Crazy Deer goes down as well. This retake attempt is held onto. No way. They completely stave it off. Wing out. Problem is that it's a double dash from the two players, the two Cobras on long. Honeybee's gonna put down the turret. They've got multiple players on this site. They're already starting to fall. BZT able to deliver, and Barcode comes in with a second kill of his own. It's Machina, though, an absolute beast. And he gets clapped. A third kill from BZT. On. Dude, he could cut off three players. Oh, poor Huzzah. No way. 
and, but Barco gets three. Unbelievable. Able to hang on for now. Classic per shot enough for Machina. He joins forces with his teammate. That's the spike cut down. They had evacuated the B site. Barcode is on for the ace. With an ult, with two shock darts remaining and full HP. 40 seconds to work. He forfeits control of the spike, knowing that his opponents have to go and Stop grab it. Call it out. They go forward with it. He's trying to read where they're going to end up. But they call his bluff. 30 seconds left. Hunter's Fury can make the world of difference. Shock Dart misses the mark. Two players underneath heaven. Oh my god. But he didn't see anybody else cross. He could technically deduce that they're back here, but it's gonna take crisp aim. If he peeks into hell and can clear both these corners, he gets the separate 1v1, but Machina robs him of what would- Down for a little recon. That gets canceled. He is on high alert right now, Hugstar. Pretending to move back in. He's getting followed up upon, though. Oh, yeah. That's close. He's got a teammate to try and help out. Close corner. Excellent blind. So blind, in fact, that Fancy just takes a ton of damage. But the peak is good. Hugstar's only able to get the one. However, it's Machina to drop the spike carrier. He started this round with a kill, and he's found another here in the mid-round moment. Spikes planted with 15 seconds to spare. A man advantage for the Purple Cobras. Need more DM, do not fall back, but instead they move forward and two more kills come in immediately after the fact. Machina faces him, he goes hunting. Player close corner. Oh, but that, that actually has him turn his attention. Tiggity's still able to get the headshot. Now, they do have long C play coming in. Owl drone goes deep. Oh, this is a bait. The right side turn, no way! He gets the kill. There's still the turret up, and Killjoy left back on the site, but that's just half the crossfire dismantled with no refrag. Three of the defenders back on that C site. Now they're starting to trickle over to A. They have to. They're trying to get BZT into position. Think about this moment. Your top fragger is down, but so is that of Purple Cobras. It's on everybody else here to deliver. And BZT also taken out empty-handed. They just got the scan off. They have the information, but Hugstar, he has the high ground. This could come back to haunt NMDM, but Barcode finding the better of the first bit of timing. Hugstar attempts to come back. Honeybee 